Hi, welcome to another SP Tools demonstration. Today we're looking at the SP Tools flameless portable induction heater, model SP85175. Um, the word flameless is exactly what we want to point out. This works with electricity, an electromagnet, uh, unlike your uh, oxyacetylene torch or your, um, or your LPG burner. They use obviously flame and a fuel to, to create heat. This uses electricity to create heat. So come over a little bit closer and we can have a good look. Uh, 750 watts, 1750 watts uh, of power in that little box there and it's a little bit similar to a, some of the small welders and the way they work but not exactly the same. This is our torch handpiece. Um, all we simply do is we pick the correct uh, uh, coil and then we set that coil in place. So to give you a rough idea, uh, this is used for sort of M12, M14 bolts. M10, M8, M12 volts, probably M8, M10. This one here is for uh, wrapping around. As you can see, you can wrap it over the top and you can create heat that way. And then obviously our fully flexible coil at the end here, which you wrap around any shape, size, type. I've just got that wrapped around a piece of RHS, just for indication. How does it work? Well, let me show you. It's very, very simple. Um, first and foremost, pick the right coil. So we're going to try and heat that bolt up there and as you can see that's a nice thing. One of the most important things with this unit is the gap between the bolt or the nut and the coil shouldn't be any greater than about, about three millimeters. If the gap's too big then you'll overheat the coil or you'll overheat the unit and it'll start flashing red and shut down. So you want to have a fairly nice tight fit. You can see that just snugly fits over the top. Um, now we'll give you a demonstration of how it works. We simply place our coil into the holders here, sliding them in. Do up the two securing screws there. We'll turn the power on. Okay, as you can see, a little fan cooled unit here on the back. Uh, there's a whole heap of instructions on the front here. Basically, that's telling you what these lights mean. So there's a light here on the here. So if you can corresponding green, standby or ready to go. If it goes to orange, which it will in a moment when I start it, that means it's working. If it's red and flashing, it's in power overload, that generally means that you've got the, um, the coil too far away and so on and so forth. There's a red and white flashing as well, that's in case you have, if you've got a fault with your coil or a thing. This coverage on here is made from Kevlar, so it obviously protects the coil itself from the workplace. So here we go, we'll simply place this over the top and I'll press the button and as you can see here, the lights turn to yellow, I think you can see that on the front and the back. I just simply hold that in place, give it about probably 10, 20 seconds. You'll start to see this bolt heat up. And just give it a little moment. This is a riveting television, isn't it? Sorry, not television, riveting video. Here we go, start to heat up. I can already see it here. There we go, look at that. So that's getting up towards, this gets up to a maximum heat of around 800 degrees centigrade. As you can see, it's transferring that heat via the electromagnet to the bolt. And now I'll just pull that off so you can have a good look. There you go, look at that. That's heated that up very, very well. And then in the case of now, obviously you put your, um, your bolt, your nut, your socket to be able to break that, that's broken out of anything. So that's the way the unit works. It's still ready. It's in it's in standby mode again. So I want to do the next bolt and so on. Um, it's ready to go. This unit is our model SP85175. Uh, great piece of workshop equipment. The type of thing you buy and you keep using over and over again for years. Because let's face it, stubborn bolts never go away. Thanks for coming. I hope you've enjoyed another demonstration.